This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Really, yeah. Uh, Dave, good to meet you. you. Sorry, I got to give you a Bob Dole handshake, and I got to ambush interview you because I got a question. Ambush? Yes. I understand that you voted against the microbrewery liberalization. Incorrect. Fundamentally incorrect. Actually, was moved into. I thought I had moved or seconded the amendment and voted uh, for it. Okay. And it comes up on the floor next week. It was, a, so you, it was an accidental vote or something? Or? It wasn't an accidental vote. The, the question really is, if we're going to allow anyone to sell alcohol at retail, as much as I, as a guy that loves personal freedom, and I'm a real liberty guy, but we have existing laws, so we have to, com at some level, we've got to comply with them, right? So the question is, if we're going to change the manufacturing process and let nano breweries sell alcohol at retail, we need to find a place within the statutes that will allow them to do that that's the least invasive. So what we came up with is just them paying the differences for between their manufacturing license and just an up for $250 and allow them to sell alcohol under the beer, I think it's called the, technically the beer and wine license. So, so you think so, basic changes will go through? Well, it's over in the House. I'd love to think that the House will concur and then the governor, governor will sign. But you've and, supported them. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I've been supporting them since I came here, remember? Well, I am very glad that you had a chance to sort of correct the record because there's been a little buzz about your vote. So. Well, uh, and I apologize if this buzz. Hopefully this will solve that, and if not, happy to answer questions. Reporters anytime. like buzz. <laughs> Reporters <laughs> do like buzz. It sells audio tapes. All right. Okay, thank it's good to meet you finally. Thank you so much. All Truly right, appreciate it. All right. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. <laughs> That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to... LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.